calm it down. My request is that you go to China. And there's a lot of sock manufacturers there and um, I'll send you a couple designs so you can maybe take that with you. There's a problem with smog and I'd like to go over and eradicate that. Of course, the Great Wall, Imperial Palace, like people, food, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I love you both, I love you, I love you both so much. Two hosts, two cameras, you tell them where to go. Two highly experienced world adventurers travel to a destination that you choose. Take the trip of your dreams from the comfort of your own home. Your travel hosts, Linda Hoffman and Mark Winston. Total Trip Domination, U Edition. Yeah, Check how cold my hands are because they're freezing right now. Well, that's probably what you deserve. You've had cell phone reception this entire time? You're gonna need a few more of those beers for this trip. I think so. Welcome to Total Trip Domination. China edition. I'm Linda Powatman. And I'm Mark Weston. And we traveled one whole day into the future to bring the beautiful capital city of Beijing, China to your living room. And as you can see behind us, we are at the most iconic monument in China, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Only 40 minutes outside the capital city of Beijing, the Great Wall of China. And who sent in this episode's request, Mark? Lovely Glenda from Meridian, Idaho. Hold on to your bippies because we're in for a wild ride. <sighs> Tiananmen Square is... The, Tiananmen Square is... Tiananmen Square is the world's largest public square at 100 acres in size. That's 440 square meters. Is it okay, Linda? So way behind me, that's Mao's mausoleum. If you can see it through the fog, that's where Chairman Mao's mummified corpse remains. His corpse. The Forbidden City, home of emperors. If you were found here uninvited, your sentence was death. All this talk of dictators, absolute power, and death mirrored Linda's lust for blood. The beauty of the Summer Palace inspired Mark to win back his co-host. Hey Linda, I, I, I know you're just really pissed at me right now and you probably want to kill me, but I, I mean, we're at China's finest Imperial Garden. I just really think we should, should be friends and have fun. We're at the Summer Palace, Linda. The Summer Palace. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. I'm really sorry. Okay. Okay. All right, let's, let's have, have fun. fun. Mark and Linda had walked a long way together. There had been ups, there had been downs. Sometimes the road was hard, but sometimes they were able to stop and smell the roses. I sure do like my bread, but it needs something. That'll work. Got grains on the brain. Check out this loaf of whole wheat. Now it has a hat. I'm the toast of the town. This bread's all about fun. This tea is too sweet for me. I'm part of the upper crust. I work out. Ah. The hunters. Pull. Bread tired? That's the yeast of your worries. Bread hats are 1995. Tax title and license not included. This offer is not available in Florida, Indiana, and Idaho. Please have a dip dip bop bop dip boop boop. So we're here at the Beijing Zoo, and we have a wonderfully rare opportunity to speak with the world's most exclusive panda expert, Dr. Jarvis Washington, who is a Beijing native. So please tell us all about the pandas, what we're going to see today. Absolutely. This is one of China's national treasures. Now, you guys are from America, so uh, national treasure here is a panda. It's not a mediocre Nicolas Cage movie with, with historical inaccuracies. Right. So you see, you have two of them back there. They're hiding all the way They're in the really, back. Really, really cute. There's only 1,005 left mm -hmm. in the entire world. My job here is I do everything with them. We eat together, bathe together, sleep together. We watched Sleepless in Seattle last night. The main reason I'm here is we want to get the number up. We actually want to get them to procreate. Ooh. It's actually a great opportunity that you're here 
because the way the way it works is we'll use a white woman to do the the panda ritual mating dance to kind of hopefully get them in the mood and maybe they will do the deed later so you would kind of be the warm-up if you would if you would like to try I can show you how it works I'd love to try it's very very you just hard. show me how to do it so we're gonna we're gonna face the glass we'll put your left hand on the glass my left hand on the glass take your arm and just swing it backwards if you can yell Steve Steve maybe slightly orgasmically okay but keep tapping keep okay. tapping keep tapping Steve. Now swing the arm a little bit Steve. Now tap again tap tap Steve. swing swing it Swing the arm, Steve. swing, swing it. Good, to hop a little faster. This is, this is a little much for me right now. It's very rare that it works. That was good. It Thank looks you. like it may have worked. I we're gonna check back really good about it. and see how they do. Good, good job, that Where was good we go job. next? Well, we're gonna, we're gonna move on in the zoo. We're gonna, oh. <laughs> After that, those damn pandas shot out a whole litter of baby pandas. And Mark and Linda celebrated the only way two travel hosts to have buried the hatchet could, by traveling around a little more. His name's Mark, Mark Weston. Has anybody seen this guy? Hello, Mark Weston, he wears this vest. Anyone? 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 In her time of strife, Linda turned to the only consolation she could find. Warm beer. <laughs> Linda, bruh, calm down. What's going on? I don't know what to do. I'm in China and all alone. You sound like a drunken baboon. So what if I'm drunk? So Mark is missing? God damn it! <laughs> Colleen, get Edwards on the line. Jacobs! Edwards! At least we only lost one host this year. Remember me? It's Kobe. I love my episode in Pennsylvania. Thank you, Total Trip Domination. I'm sorry my family wasn't more accommodating. Uh, they don't really understand me. But you guys understand me. In fact, Mark's with me here right now. We're hanging out together. Let me show you. Flip, flip, flip. Say hello, Mark. We're going to have a little world domination ourselves. Mark, where should we go from China? Let's play a game, Linda. Where in the world is Mark and Kobe? <laughs>